Hello. Um, I just made a video blog. It's actually uploading right now. And uh, it occurred to me I had something else to say. Which is, um, I wonder if I'm depressed. I, like, I, th I always thought I understood depression. Because I've been depressed quite a few times in my life. My mother was depressed a lot. Um, it, it runs in the family, basically. So... I always thought I kind of recognized what it was. There's not much I could do about it, you know, because mentally it twists you. So you can be aware of it, but still so deep into it that you can't, you know, it's very hard to draw yourself out. But this feels very different. I wonder if this is like a creeping depression because I've noticed something, which is that I'm doing posts and blogs and talking about my laziness and talking about just kind of wasting away and having very negative thoughts, right? Um, and accepting that part of me and saying, oh, I've got to fix this. I really got to get better. I didn't used to be like this. I really didn't. I've always been very driven. Like when I was working in the office, when I was at Naughty Dog or at Boxy, one of the jobs I had, or at Activision or at EA, any of those jobs, I always got in really early. Like I would start the day, I would need to get in about two two hours or sometimes a little bit more than everyone else so I could get a very solid chunk of work in without being disturbed and then the rest of the day was help talking to people and interacting and fucking meetings all the time and all that shit um the point being I was very driven you know and there have been stages over the course of my professional life in America where um I came here when I was 26 so it's really the, that's my area where um i've noticed that that's been getting less and less and less and now if i reflect back i'm at the point now where i'm lazy generally lazy and i never used to be and i wonder if it's a sign of depression because it seems like if, if you know if my graph of laziness is over the course of my life a little bit more part of me thinks that could just happen maybe that's just natural i would say in the last two years i've plummeted so I'm really lazy now and I have very little desire and a kind of lacking hope a little bit, you know, and I think I might be depressed, but it's a different type of depression. I'm very anti, um, anti-depression pills. I'm anti, anti-depression pills. Uh, I've had them before in my life. I've taken Prozac and I've taken, I think it was Excedrin. Exc <laughs> That's like paracetamol. No, um, well, butrin or something. I don't know. I took something or other. Uh, yeah, well, butrin. And um, I hated it. I hated it. it. It actually worked, but I just, I felt that it was not something I should be doing. I needed to be fixing the problem. And I did. I got a new career. I got divorced, um, which helped a lot <laughs> and completely changed my life. Like I made a seismic change in my life uh, when I was 30. And I, suddenly started bouncing forward my life picked up again I was like okay now I know what I'm doing I got a new job and I got into a new career and I got into the games industry and like I was just driven and it was it was really exciting period of my life and suddenly that's disappeared again and now I'm thinking well okay I don't really want to be in an office making games anymore I do still but it depends on the company you know and what they're making but I want to do something else so I want to be a writer but I don't have the same drive as I had to pursue that career because otherwise I'd be getting up and writing every day with passion as opposed to just kind of you know writing because I have to do it and I'm not feel like a piece of shit you know rather than starting the clock a lot of these video blogs are about um, how to motivate yourself to get the work done it used to be I didn't need to motivate myself I just did I just wanted to get somewhere and now I feel like oh I just you know whatever I got I don't know. I don't have many wor money worries yet. I'm getting close to it. And that's making me think I need a job. Maybe that's just what I need to do. Just go get another, just a regular job to find some purpose and structure. Because um, this isn't working. This isn't working. You know, it's stressing my wife out as well. You know, um, not my behavior, but just our lifestyle because we're just burning through money, you know. I mean, we we got no retirement savings. I have a 401k, but it's not enough. It, <laughs> the way we spend money, it will last us three or four years, and then we're broke again, you know. So, I don't know. I just realized I think I might be depressed. And 
I'm not totally sure what the solution is. I've done therapy in my life. Don't really want to do it again because I, I've had a few therapists. Um, I don't really believe in it, to be honest with you. I do, I do. It, it, it can help people. I get it. But I think there's a point where you're like, I know what the solution is. I don't need someone to tell me what the solution is. The problem is I can't do the solution. So unless the therapist is literally going to walk behind me every moment and go, eh, you're making the wrong choice there. No, look, you're making the wrong choice. I don't need to be told again. It's like going to a nutritionist. Like, yeah, no, I know McDonald's is unhealthy. The nutrition isn't helping me. I need a mental coach. I need someone who understands the mentality and can get in and change that. Which I guess is a therapist, but maybe I just haven't found. Maybe it's an occupational therapist, you know. I don't know, but I've got to fix my drive. I know people my age who don't have this problem or have been through it and got out of it. Or maybe they haven't. Maybe they just look like they've got out of their depression. I don't know. You know, there's not one midlife crisis. If that's what you're thinking, if you're younger and you're looking at this and you're thinking like, well, that one day I'll have a midlife crisis. No, you will move into a part of your life that is the midlife crisis. It happens multiple times and you think you've solved it and then something else happens, you know. Loss of purpose, you start feeling older, um, you start hurting more, <laughs> right, physically start hurting more. Um, and, you know, you might get bored of your job. You get bored of your job. I mean, I envy those people who do the same career for like, I envy my wife, you know, she can do the same thing for the rest of her life. She loves it. She hates it as well, but she loves it. I can't do that. And I've, I'm now lost. I'm like, shit, what do I do? Do I become a writer? That's what I should do because I'm good at it. But I can't drive myself to write every day. I'd rather do this or I'd rather make a game or I'd rather walk the dogs or I'd rather do fucking anything. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I'm depressed. That could be it. I need to think about this more. See what I do about it. I don't know. Right now, I feel like leaving this video running and just staring at this camera until I figure out what the fuck it is. But I can't because my brain's ping-ponging all over the place. Maybe it's just diet. Maybe diet, 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 right? Just start eating healthy, treating your body better. Start feeling my body. Maybe if I do that, right? Maybe fix. I just watched this thing on Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love that guy. I don't really do. I'm a little bit ashamed to say it because, you know, I'm a good lefty. My family's always been liberals. Um, and, and he's right wing, but I fucking love that guy. I don't know what it is about him. I'm sure there's dark shit in his past, sexual abuse, every fucking man. I, I'm, I'm missing a gene. A friend of mine, John Knowles, once said he felt like he's missing this man gene that everyone seems to have where they're constantly abusing and raping and and locker room talk like yeah i feel the same way i don't do any of that shit i don't think i do maybe i do and i'm just not aware of it anyway what is it oh yeah Arnold schwarzenegger i'm kind of in love with the guy because he has found i think his success is down to his determination to be physically strong right the way he looks after his body because Look at his success, man. Look at what that guy did with his life. It's pretty incredible. Uh, I'm not going to be the governor or anything. Unless I'm going to be the governor. I might be the governor. Um, but then you also, part of the depression is also you look at it, if I am depressed, is you look at it and think, like, well, I'm 50 now. I'm too old to do anything. I'm like, of course I'm not. All right. Diet. I just had eggs on toast. So did I fuck this day up? Maybe I know. Maybe right now I need to make a change. I'll let you know if it happens. Bye.